Hey everyone, this is uh, Joe from uh, Excel by Joe, and I wanted to go over my uh, multi lineup tool, generating tool for um, baseball, for DraftKings. So this is different than, a, than an optimizer. Like with an optimizer, what it does, it looks at salary and looks at projected score and uh, picks lineups. With this, you get to pick which teams you want to stack and what percentage of the guys you want to show up and it'll generate the lineups for you. Then you can easily add them to an upload file and um, upload them to DraftKings. Well, I mean, it's not gonna come 100% exact to your percentages, but it depends on like what, um, if you put enough players in. So let's just go through uh, my tool. First thing you want to do is you want to get the export. So you want to download this from DraftKings because there's many different lineups that you could be playing. So what you do, you go to uh, lineups, and you're going to click Upload Lineups. This is while you're in DraftKings. And we're going to pick uh, Baseball. And we got the Classic. And I'm just going to do the 10 game slate. Click Download. So it's going to download this for me. It'll just take a second. There. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight the whole sheet, copy it. I'm going to go to my, my generator tool. See, and we, you go to the Export tab. I'm going to delete the old and control V to paste in the new. So now you have the new salaries in there and all the players with the new IDs. So then you can go to main and then you want to put press after copying in player export. So what this is doing, this is just resetting all the information. So it doesn't have the same um, numbers and percentages from last time. So see now you got main, this is the number of hitters you have with different usage. What you will be doing is only going into three tabs. You're gonna update the pitchers, the hitters, and the stacks. So the pitchers, you're gonna go in here on this usage tab and put what the, um, no, the amount of usage that you want these uh, pitchers in. So let's see, I'm gonna just do a search. I wanna get Archer in there. So I'm gonna go over to here and I want Archer in say 40% of my lineups. And then let's see, Estrada, I want to put him in there. And I'll put him in, say, I want him in 60% of my lineups. And let's go down to, uh, um, I'm not even sure who else is, is on the uh, slate here tonight. Let's just take a quick look. At uh, DraftKings, let's see Garrett Cole. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into doing the research. You do your research on your own. But I'll put poor um, let's see Derek Holland in and uh, Gossman. Let's just get get them in there. This is more just to teach you how to use the tool. So Holland will be in say 25% of the lineups. And who? Let's see Gossman. Put him in say 30% of the lineups. Now it doesn't have to exactly add up to the right. It's the total pitch, pitch and usage is 155. What this tool will do is just it's going to go through those four players and it's just going to randomly select them based relatively on the amount of usage. So if you had 30, you put 30% out of a total 155, that's about 20% of the time that pitcher is going to come up. Next, we're going to go through and do stacks. So we're going to want to put in. Say I want Toronto in 25% uh, of my my stacks. So then I'm going to go to hitters. I'm going to put the filter on so then I can sort by Toronto. And here are the players. So if you want them to show up in the stack, you have to put in the usage here. So I want smoke in. So put 20%. Uh, let's see, Granderson I want, say 25%. Uh, Hernandez. 15%. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Grichuk, 10%. And Russell Martin, say 25%. If you're doing a stack, you want to put at least four people in there so the, the lineup's, so it's going to pick stacks. And then you just keep going. Uh, let's see who else do I want to stack. I want to stack the White Sox. Uh, say. 18% of lineups be White Sox. I'm going to go to the hitters here. I'm going to pick uh, 
look through the White Sox players on who I want to have, and say a, a brew, a whatever, 30%. Um, Davidson, 25%. Uh, Garcia, 15%. And Tim Anderson, 25%. We'll say we'll just pick four for them. And that's just how you would uh, set all the stacks. And then if there's pe people you want that aren't being stacked, you can do that too. Because then, because you you're not going to have all stacks and say, well, I want to get Mookie Betts in there and say 12% of lineups. And we're just going to kind of go through who who else you want in these lineups that aren't aren't stacks. I think Springer would do good, but I'm not going. I don't want to stack Houston, so I'm going to put some Springer in there. So once you're going to go through all that, I'm not going to go through my whole process now of picking them, but that's what you're basically going to have. You can check on the main tab to see how many hitters with usage. So you want to make sure you got at least a couple in each position because, you, I mean, you're not going to get any second baseman to show up or third baseman. So you're going to have to go through until you get all that. So this will take a little time, but, I mean, it's going to help give, give you the, the multiple lineups that you want. And then once you are all set, you're going to run the lineups, and it's going to spit the lineups out into here, into final lineups. Now this is um, a lineup that I did the other day. So that's how you see it's already got some different like Cleveland, Baltimore, and Yankee stacks. And I'm going to scroll down, and you see I've got about 250, 273 lineups in there. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to decide, and you can kind of see here, this is the team that's stacked. Cleveland is stacked here. The maximum number of players, so three is the most amount of players that were on Cleveland. The maximum number of hitters are three. There's three Cleveland hitters, and the minimum is, is one. So that means all the other players, there's just one of each in, the, in other players. So then you can decide what you want to stack. If you like to stack five hitters from a team, so you got all these five hitters from teams. There's a lot of Yankees, a lot of Baltimore players. So you're going to copy the lineups. Say this is all you want to have. So you're going to copy the lineups. What I do, I go to another sheet. To call just DraftKings Upload, and I'm going to paste it on here. Because you have to save it as a CSV file. So now here's the lineups that I want to upload. And so I got 25 lineups down, and now we're back to here. Now, say I also want, say I, I'm going to get rid of this filter for five, but I also want a few, say I got some Arizona in there. There's only three lineups, but I want to put a few Arizona stacks in there. So I'm going to copy this in. I'm going to paste that in. So now we've got our upload file all set. I'm going to go in and save it. File, save. So it's saved as a CSV file. And then once you're all set, then we're going to go back into DraftKings. And this is where you're going to upload your, your CSV file. So you're going to go back here on the lineups tab. Click upload CSV file. I'm going to find it in here. And then you just upload it. Since I'm using an old, uh, old file. I mean, these are from games from a couple days ago. It's not going to actually upload, so I'm not going to show you that part, but this video was more just to teach you about the Excel tool and not to actually how to do an upload. Now, there's other videos out there that teach you how to upload into DraftKings. I'm sure right in DraftKings.com there, there are. So that's how you do the upload, and that is the the tool. I hope you, uh, hope you guys find it a good tool. If you have any feedback on it, let me know. I'm definitely gonna change it I'll make other sports if this is something good and if you guys win any money definitely let me know uh, thanks a lot have a great day bye